Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for math. Today's lesson will be about comparing numbers to 10. Here's what you're going to learn to do today. I can compare groups of numbers in many ways. Repeat after me. I can compare groups of numbers in many ways. Let's try that all together. Ready? I can compare groups of numbers in many ways. Well, before we get comparing and seeing all the different ways you can do it, we're going to start by reviewing some of those words we've learned that you can use to compare. The first word that we learned is the word greater. Say the word with me. Ready? Greater. Hmm. What does it mean when one number is greater than another? You're right. It means the number is bigger. Let's think about the other word that we've learned. We've also learned the word less. What does it mean if one number is less than another? You're right. It means that it is smaller. Let's talk about one more word, then we can start comparing. Say the word equal. Ready? Equal. When something is equal, it means that they're the same. That could be the same number of items. It could mean that they're the same size, but equal means they are the same. Well, let's get started comparing. First, let's look at the numbers eight and five. What words would you use to describe eight and five? If I were to describe them, one thing I could say is that eight is greater than five. Here's a picture to show how I did that. In the picture, I have eight blocks that are blue and five blocks that are red. The picture shows that eight is greater than five because there are more blue blocks than there are red blocks. I know eight is more because eight comes after five when you're counting. Let's look at some more numbers and think a little bit more about comparing. These are the numbers six and nine. What, no, what words would you use to describe these numbers? You could say that six is less than nine. Let's look at a picture to see how we can show this. Oops. All right, so in this picture, we have a number line. I can use the number line to figure out which number comes first, which would make it less, and which number comes second, which would make it greater. So first, I'm going to find that number six on my number line, and I see that number six, let me make my pen a little bit thicker, that number six is right here. Now let's find the number nine on the number line. I see it is right here. So now to figure out which number is less, I need to know which number comes first on the number line. What number comes first? You're right, the number six. So six is less than the number nine. All right, let's look at some more numbers and get some more practice comparing. What numbers do you see on this page? You're right, I see the number seven and another number seven. I could say that these numbers are equal. Remember, equal means the numbers are the same. Here's another way I could show that. In this picture, I have seven yellow stars in this 10 frame and seven yellow stars in this 10 frame. The 10 frames are the same. They both have the same number of stars. That means seven and seven are equal. Great job. All right, now let's get a little bit of practice comparing numbers together. To do this, you will need to get your math workbook and you will need to turn to page number 221. So if you need to pause the video and come back when you are ready. 
if you are ready, let's get started. We're going to start by doing number three. That's the question that has a little fish on it. Listen as I read the directions and we'll work this one out together. This question says, draw pictures to show how you know each number. I'm sorry, draw, draw pictures to show how you know which number is greater than the other. Draw a circle around the number that's greater. So we need to draw some sort of a picture to show which one's greater. Well, I'm gonna draw some hearts. So let's start by making six hearts. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. You could draw hearts, you can make circles, really any shape that you would like. If you need to, at any point during these questions, you can pause the video so you can catch up right in. Now we need to draw nine of something. I'm going to draw stars. Again, you can draw whatever you would like to. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Go ahead and finish up your drawing. Remember, hit pause if you need to. And then I'm going to draw lines to compare these. So one heart to one star. I'm all out of hearts. All right. Now it says to circle the number that's greater. That's the one that has some left over. What number do you think it is? Yeah, nine is greater than six. Oops. Make it a circle. There we go. All right. Let's go on to number four that has the picture of the heart. It says draw counters in the 10 frame to show how you know that the numbers are equal. Then draw a circle around both numbers if they are equal or draw an X if they are not. So we need to start by drawing counters in our 10 frame. How many counters should be in this 10 frame? And you're right, there should be eight. So let me get a circle. Here we go, one. Oops. Hold on. Sorry, friends. Go ahead and draw your counters while I catch up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My counters are a little wonky, but I've got eight of them. Now, how many counters should we do in the next 10 frame? And you're right, we should do eight counters. Go ahead and fill yours in as I do mine. All right, now, does the picture show that they're equal? It does. We can go ahead and circle both of those eights. And then we'll go on to number five. Number five says, use the number sequence to show which number is less. Mark an X on the number that's X, that's less. Remember, when we're using a number line like this, the first thing we need to do is find both numbers on the number line. So I've got the number nine here. I need to find the number nine and I can draw an arrow to it. I have the number 10 here. Now I need to find the number 10. The number that comes less, sorry, the number that is less will come first in the number line. So I see the number nine comes first. That means it is less. So I can put an X on my number nine. Nine is less than 10. All right, friends, let's do the last one together. The last one says, draw pictures to show how you know which number is less and mark an X on it. So this is a lot like number three, that first one. We're just drawing a picture to compare. So I'm going to do hearts and stars again. Um, you can do whatever you would like. You can draw counters, really whatever you like to draw. So for nine, how many hearts do I need? 
you're right, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many stars do I need? Eight. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, how can I compare those two numbers in my picture? And you're right, I can draw some lines to match one heart to one star. As I'm doing this, you can do this in yours. Remember, if you need to, pause the video and get caught up with your drawing. There. All right, let's look back at the question to see what I was supposed to do next. It says, to mark an X on the group that is less. That's going to be the group that doesn't have any left over. And you know what? Eight, the stars don't have any left over. Eight is less than nine. All right, now, oops. I want you to go ahead and look at the next page, page 222. This is your homework. It's your turn to show you can compare in different ways. When you're done with this assignment, take a picture of it and submit it to Seesaw. Great job today. I'll see everyone later. Bye.